Okay, let's play with the new 857D here. As you can see, uh, we'll demonstrate some of the features. The color display is adjustable, and I'm trying to find a color that uh, shows up on the camera. So we can go from several different colors. You'll recognize this as like the 706 color, which I'm used to. Proceeding through the different colors here. Back here was the uh, the Yesu red orange. This uh, goes up to 32, and then back here to 27 or 28, which I think seems to show up about the best on the monitor. And we're listening to the side tone function here, which we'll get into the menu. First, we should do a quick menu. Uh, we're in the main menu, okay. So we'll push and hold, get back to uh, my home channel of the QLF net. Uh, the quick menus start at A, obviously, and uh, here are the tag. See, I'm 144, 140. I like to uh, name the memory channel. So I just got this and I'm a little slow negotiating uh, menu items. So we'll go back to our main menu and get into some of the neat CW functions which the 706 can only dream of. So the CW auto mode which will switch between upper or lower uh, carriers. CW reverse function I guess uh, a CW delay which on this one you have to uh, get into the menu to go from full break-in which is a, a wonderful full break-in you don't hear the, the relays clattering like you do on the 706 uh, a feature I, I really like is the wonderful quiet full break-in. Then we can go to CW reverse which uh, other radios also have. Switch uh, on your functions, electronic key or the mic up and down buttons. Uh, this was the delay for if you're running an amplifier I guess which I never owned an amplifier I don't uh, deal with that. And the CW side tone, nice adjustment here for the CW side tone volume, which was is pretty nice to balance it with your, uh, your receiver. Uh, you have to control the CW side tone volume through this menu function. Uh, on the 706 you just turn the volume control up or down to if you need a uh, to hear your side tone a little louder when you're transmitting. So down through it's a hundred. I've got it set uh, somewhere in here for now. Then we can go to the speed which uh, I think is the uh, doesn't track quite as the same as it did on a 706. Uh, speed uh, CW training it'll send uh, groups of characters if you want to practice that CW waiting which they all have. Uh, so we'll get out of this menu go back to the quick menu, I think it was J. Uh, it's got a, a nice spot feature which the 706 didn't have. Uh, you had to get into the, the menu and turn the keyers to the manual to be able to spot someone unless you just wanted to sit there and hold the key down uh, with the break in off to try to spot someone. Also to access the spot function you can hold the, the home if you don't happen to have the submenu in the CW uh, preferences here, the keyer is a quick set to get to your speed. Hold that again and get out of that break, break in, turn that on or off. One wonderful feature this has, which I don't think I can show you right now, is when you zero beat on someone, uh, uh, the receive transmit light, which is red or green, depending upon whether you're transmitting or receiving, will glow blue. So you just uh, turn the turn the knob, and when you are zero beat on someone, 
it'll glow blue and then if you want to really zero in on them you can hit the spot and, and match the tones which is pretty cool so uh, my operating position here this is uh, got my venture paddles over there and uh, I've got this radio set up for 10 meters which I check into the hood, hood view uh, CW 10 meter net every evening and uh, do my my two meter net my my old power supply. Excuse the wiring; it's not uh, not too pretty, but it seems to be pretty functional. So, Okay, see you later. Thanks for watching.